Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Turkish ebook before it's gone. 10 must know vocabulary for the restaurant. Garson. Garson. Waiter, waitress. The first one is garson. Waiter or waitress. Bu restoranın garsonları çok nazik. Bu restoranın garsonları çok nazik. The waiters in this restaurant are very kind. So in Turkish, we don't have two different words for waiter or waitress. We just say garson. So the name of the job. If you want to call a boy or girl, I mean the waiter or waitress, you can just say garson. And in Turkish we call like this usually. Pardon, bakar mısınız? Garson bey, bakar mısınız? It's like, hello, excuse me. Can you look to me? Like that. Yemek. Yemek. To eat. The next one is Yemek. To eat. Kırmızı et yemiyorum. Kırmızı et yemiyorum. I don't eat red meat. So it's a very basic word, but it's important to know if you're going to a Turkish restaurant. What if you have an allergy, right? Or what if you're a vegetarian? Then you need to know the eat, to eat word. So you can say you don't eat or you have allergy. Kırmızı et yemiyorum. Or let's say you don't eat egg. Egg is yumurta. Yumurta yemiyorum. If you want to say I am vegetarian in Turkish, you can say like this. Ben vegetarianim. Ben vegetarianim. Kırmızı et yemiyorum. I don't eat red meat. Sipariş vermek. Sipariş vermek. To order. Sipariş vermek. To order. Pasta sipariş ettim. Pasta sipariş ettim. I ordered a cake. Um, it's very funny actually because I know in English... Pasta means like macaroni, right? But in Turkish, it means cake. So it was always very confusing for me when I was learning English. We are using for describing cake or like a, some kind of sweet, like birthday cake. We are saying pasta. And sipariş etmek means order. You can use it with other foods too. Uh, usually people are ordering pizza to their home, right? You can say... Pizza sipariş ettim. Or if you want to ask your friend, should we order pizza? Then you can say, Pizza sipariş edelim mi? Pizza sipariş edelim mi? Su. Su. Water. Su. Water. Bir bardak soğuk su alabilir miyim? Bir bardak su. Look, su, a, la, bi, li, mi, yim. Can I have a glass of cold water? Usually in Turkish restaurants, the water is not free. So you have to pay money for it. And please be careful if you're ordering water because you may talk. Maybe in your country it's free, but it's not free in Turkey. But in Turkey, in most Restaurants, not all of them. In most restaurants, the Turkish tea is free, black tea is free, and it usually comes after your meal. They just bring you, or they ask you, should we bring black tea? Should we bring uh, Turkish tea for you? And it's usually free. But I'm not saying for all of them, but most of them. Tatlı. Tatlı. Dessert. Tatlı, dessert. Bu tatlının yanında 
bir fincan kahve iyi gider. Bu tatlının yanında bir fincan kahve iyi gider. A cup of coffee would be great with this dessert. Usually in Turkey, you know, people like to drink Turkish coffee. And with Turkish coffee, we usually eat whether Turkish delight or recently we started to eat chocolate, like Turkish brand chocolate or any other brand. So in Turkish, we say like this. Türk kahvesinin yanında Lokum iyi gider. I said, Turkish delight goes well with Turkish coffee. Chef, chef, chief, chef, chief. Bu restoranın şefi çok yetenekli. Bu restoranın şefi çok yetenek. Li. This restaurant's chief is very talented. Okay, you've finished your meal in a Turkish restaurant and you really liked it. Now you want to say good words, you want to give good feedback to the restaurant. Then you can use this sentence, right? It's a good sentence to know, I think. Bu restoranın şefi çok yetenekli. Yemekler çok lezzetliydi. It means the food was very delicious. Yemekler çok lezzetliydi. Fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Çocuklarımın fast food yemesine izin vermem. Çocuklarımın fast food yemesine I zin ver mam. I don't let my children eat fast food. We are using the English word as it is, fast food. But our pronunciation is not like English, of course. It's a bit different. It's like fast food. But we have actually other Turkish words. It is rather abur cubur. It's like, it's more like snacks, I think. Abur cubur. Or Hazır yiyecekler, which means instant food. Hazır yiyecekler. We are using these two for describing fast food sometimes. Abur cubur, hazır yiyecekler, or fast food as it is. It's also okay. Restoran. Restoran. Restaurant. Restoran. Restaurant. Bu sokaktaki ev yemekleri restoranına Sık sık giderim. Bu sokaktaki ev yemekleri restoranına sık sık giderim. I go to the home style food restaurant on the street very often. I go to the home style food restaurant on the street very often. In Turkish, we have this type of restaurant because most people, especially people who live alone, they are missing their mother's food so much, right? So that is why there are so many home-style food restaurants all over Turkey. They are cooking like foods like that reminds you your mother food. Very home-cooked Turkish meals, not like kebab, maybe, not like Turkish pizza, really, like Turkish food. Hesap. He sab. Check. Hesap. Check. Hesap lütfen. He sab lütfen. Check, please. Do you know how to uh, describe the waiter that you want check? without saying any word. <laughs> so we are using our body language in this case to tell the waiter that we want to pay the check. And it's like this. Now I'm going to show you. Hesap <laughs> lütfen. Like this. 
<gülüyor> lezzetli. Lezzetli. Delicious. Lezzetli. Delicious. Çok lezzetli görünüyor. Çok lezzetli görünüyor. It looks very delicious. Now your meal is here. It's still hot. And it looks really awesome. Then that time you will say, Ah, oh, çok lezzetli görünüyor. Mm, I want to eat it. Top 25 phrases in Turkish. Let's begin. Merhaba. Hello. Our first word is Merhaba. Meaning, hello. We use Merhaba, for example, when we are being introduced to someone else. After say, for example, we are introduced and we say Merhaba. When we say the H between the um, R and A is lost. Merhaba. Nice to meet you. Merhaba. Günaydın. Good morning. Our second word is Günaydın. Meaning good morning. We always use it, of course, in the mornings. Günaydın. İyi günler. Good afternoon. Our third word is iyi günler. Meaning good afternoon. İyi geceler. Good night. Our fourth word is iyi geceler. Meaning good night. İyi geceler. This is how I said when I say iyi geceler. İyi geceler. Adın ne? What's your name? Our fifth word is adın ne? What's your name? Pişra, what's, it, what's yours? Ben. I am. Our sixth word is ben. Meaning am. For example, I am Büşra. Büşra'yım. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. Nice to meet you. Our seventh word is Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. Meaning, nice to meet you. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. This is how it sounds when I don't slow it down. Nasılsın? How are you? Our eighth word is Nasılsın? Meaning, how are you? It goes like, nasılsın? İyiyim. Sen nasılsın? I'm fine. And you? Our ninth word is, iyiyim. Sen nasılsın? I'm fine. And you? Lütfen. Please. Our tenth word is, lütfen. Meaning, please. <laughs> It goes like, lütfen, lütfen, lütfen, lütfen. No, it doesn't go like that. Lütfen. Teşekkür ederim. Thank you. Our 11th word is, teşekkür ederim. Meaning, thank you. You can also say, teşekkürler. If you want to shorten it. Teşekkürler. Rica ederim. You are welcome. Our twelfth word is Rica ederim Meaning you are welcome Rica ederim Evet Yes Our thirteenth word is Evet Meaning yes Hayır No Our fourteenth word is Hayır Meaning no Tamam Okay Our 15 word is tamam. Meaning okay. Affedersiniz. Excuse me. Our 16 word is affedersiniz. Meaning excuse me. Özür dilerim. I'm sorry. Our 17 word is özür dilerim. Meaning I'm sorry. Saat kaç? What time is it? Our 18th word is Saat kaç? What time is it? Saat kaç? Banyo nerede? Where is the restroom? Our 19th word is Banyo nerede? 
Where is the restroom? Dur bir dakika. Wait a moment. Our 20th word is Dur bir dakika. Meaning, wait a moment. Bu ne kadar? How much is this? Our 21st word is Bu ne kadar? Meaning, how much is this? Hesap lütfen. Check please. Our 22nd word is Hesap lütfen. Check please. Tebrikler. Congratulations. Our 23rd word is Tebrikler. Meaning congratulations. Görüşürüz. See you later. Our 24th word is Görüşürüz. Meaning see you later. Güle güle. Goodbye. Our 25th word is Güle güle. Meaning goodbye. Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at TurkishClass101.com. 10 compliments you always want to hear. Okay, let's start with Çok yakışıklısın. You are very handsome. Çok yakışıklısın. Çok yakışıklısın. It means you are very handsome. So this one is used for men. Actually, not for girls. We don't say uh, yakışıklısın for girls. We use another one, but we'll come to that later. Çok akıllısın. You are very smart. Çok akıllısın. Çok akıllısın. It means you are very smart. So I think you understand that çok means very. So you can use it with everything basically. Çok akıllısın, you are very smart. Çok uh, yakışıklısın, you are very handsome. So çok with something, it means very. Sen müthiş bir arkadaşsın. You are an awesome friend. Sen müthiş bir arkadaşsın. Sen müthiş bir arkadaşsın. It means you are an awesome friend. Of course, everyone wants to hear, right? I mean, from your best friends, um, from the people around you. It's nice to be a good friend, I think. Etkileyici bir özgeçmişiniz var. Your resume is impressive. Etkileyici bir özgeçmişiniz var. Etkileyici bir özgeçmişiniz var. Your resume is impressive. I would love to hear personally. Like when somebody in the interview or from from someone from a company that you apply um, like tells you that, oh, you have a really nice resume, your resume is impressive, then you will be relieved, right? So I think that's a really nice compliment. İyi iş çıkardın. Great job. İyi iş çıkardın. İyi iş çıkardın. Great job. I think um, usually like teachers, they use for their students, like, great job, iyi iş çıkardın, like this. So, um, you become happy, right? Oh, I did a good job, maybe I'll get a good grade, like that. Bu ceket sana yakışıyor. That jacket looks nice on you. Bu ceket sana yakışıyor. Bu ceket sana yakışıyor. That jacket looks good on you. So, um, I said, bu ceket sana yakışıyor, right? So you can just drop jacket, you can put something else, like pullover, sweater, so like kazak, etek, etek means skirt, and then you can, the same, you can use the same sentence. It's the same, you can just change the um, thing that you're complimenting. İyi bir tarzın var. You have good taste. İyi bir tarzın var. İyi bir tarzın var. You have a good taste. Usually when I first hear it, iyi bir tarzın var, I um, think about like the fashion, like oh you have a really good um, style like this, or not just fashion of course, um, like like the job you're doing, like you're uh, maybe um, you're writing poems maybe, or maybe you're creating something, I mean you're a painter, then they can compliment on you like this too, like iyi bir tarzın var. You have a you have a good taste, you have a good style. Gülümsemen çok güzel. 
Your smile is very beautiful. Gülümsemen çok güzel. Gülümsemen çok güzel. Your smile is very beautiful. So çok güzel, it's a very common Turkish phrase actually. Not just for a smile, we can use for everything, everything. Like hair, face, your face is uh, very beautiful. Yüzün çok güzel, gülümsemen çok güzel. We can use for everything. Harika görünüyorsun. You look gorgeous. Harika görünüyorsun. Harika görünüyorsun. You look gorgeous. So, usually women, they cannot decide what to wear, right? Mm, and they are kind of worried. Oh, do I look good? Do I look okay? And they ask their friends or their husbands or whatever, the family. And we say, nasıl olmuşum? It means like, how do I look? Is it okay? Like, nasıl olmuşum? And that time, usually you hear this compliment. Harika görünüyorsun. You look gorgeous. Çok güzelsin. You're very beautiful. Çok güzelsin. Çok güzelsin. You are very beautiful. So this time, this is for uh, the girls, women. You are very handsome. Çok yakışıklısın for men. Çok güzelsin for women. But um, as I told you, çok güzel, that phrase, it's very, very common in Turkey. For face, smile, everything. And for girls, we use it. How to respond to how are you? Nasılsın? How are you? Okay, first, let's start with learning the question. How to ask how are you? It is, nasılsın? Nasılsın? How are you? There are other ways to ask how are you. Another one is, naber? Naber? It is uh, more casual than nasılsın. There is one more and it is more polite way to say. Nasılsınız? Nasılsınız? So there are three ways. Nasılsın? Naber? Nasılsınız? Ya sen? And you? Ya sen? And you? So, of course, this will be after someone asks you, <laughs> how are you? How are you? I'm fine. And you, right? So, nasılsın? İyiyim, which means I'm fine. And you? Ya sen? Or, sen nasılsın? Which means, how are you? And you is ya sen. Ya sen? You don't even need to say ya. Just say sen. Well, it will be casual, of course, but it will mean it will mean the same thing. Sen, iyiyim sen. Son zamanlarda nasılsın? How have you been recently? Okay, the next one is. Son zamanlarda nasılsın? Son zamanlarda nasılsın? How have you been recently? Mm, I think. If somebody asks me, like, how have you been recently? Son zamanlarda nasılsın? Maybe it will sound like maybe they were just worried about me, like, maybe I have bad time. So they're asking me, son zamanlarda nasılsın? Maybe something happened, so that's why they're asking. So it's not like, it's not everyday question. You don't ask everyday, son zamanlarda, son zamanlarda. Maybe something happened and that's why you're asking. How have you been recently? Son zamanlarda nasılsın? İyiyim. I'm fine. İyiyim. I'm fine. İyiyim. I'm fine. So, okay, let's make our conversation one more time. Nasılsın? İyiyim. Sen nasılsın? And you can say again. İyiyim. Or, ben de iyiyim. I'm fine too. Ben de iyiyim. Fena değilim. I'm not bad. Fena değilim. Fena değilim. I'm not bad.
which means so-so. Fena değilim. I'm not good, I'm not bad. Fena değilim. I think we use it very often. Fena değilim. It means like so-so. Or you can say, idare eder. It is, I think, really casual way to say, I'm not bad. So if somebody asks you, nasılsın? You can just say, idare eder. Like so-so. Uykum var. I'm sleepy. Uykum var. I'm sleepy. Uykum var. I'm sleepy. That's that's usual me. If you ask me nasılsın all the time, I will answer you uykum var. Mm, uykum var. Maybe it's not a good um, idea to say your manager. Kötü hissediyorum. I'm feeling bad. Kötü hissediyorum. I'm feeling bad. Kötü hissediyorum. It sounds like maybe you're sick, maybe your health is not good, or maybe um, you had some fight with someone. It doesn't have to be physical too, of course. If you say kötü hissediyorum, then somebody will ask you in return, neyin var? You will hear this, I think, I'm sure. Neyin var? The question, it means, oh, why, what happened? Like, what is the problem? Neyin var? İdare ediyorum. I am doing okay. İdare ediyorum. İdare ediyorum. I am doing okay. Do you remember, I also said this before in this video. İdare eder. İdare ediyorum. I think it's better way to say idare eder is a really casual way. But both same meaning idare ediyorum, which means so so, not bad, I'm doing okay, idare eder, idare ediyorum, fena değil. Her zamanki gibi, same as always. Her zamanki gibi, same as always. Nasılsın? Her zamanki gibiyim. If you say like this, I am same as always. Her zamanki gibiyim. Or you can say like everything is same as always. Her şey her zamanki gibi. Her zamanki gibi devam ediyor. Sorduğun için teşekkürler. Thank you for asking. Sorduğun için teşekkürler. Sorduğun için teşekkürler. Thank you for asking. Well, I think we don't usually think when somebody asks how are you to us. If it's um, like everyday conversation, like how are you, I'm fine, thank you for asking, we don't say. Mm, but sometimes it may sound like actually you're angry to someone. Thank you for asking, like you were never asking me. So when you say this in Turkish, sorduğun için teşekkürler, with a bit angry tone, then it will be like you're actually not feeling good about that person because that person is never asking you how do you feel or like that kind of thing. It may sound ang angry sometimes. Well, of course, it depends on your voice tone. Sorduğun için teşekkürler. Like this. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.